Okay, we're going to be talking about emotions. Most of this work was taken from Michelle Garcia Winner, socialthinking.com, uh, the ideas behind it anyway, um, and linguist system, social language development, adolescence training. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you some pictures like this one. I want you to try to picture it in your mind. We're going to be talking about the facial expressions, the emotions, the gestures, proximity, thoughts they might be thinking, and any problems. Okay, so in this picture, the emotion that I see is interest. The girl right here has her eyes looking towards the girl. Uh, so she's looking at the corners of her eyes. She's leaning. She's smiling. She looks interested in what she's hearing. The other girl is telling a secret. She's covering her mouth. She's leaning in. And they both look very interested. It sounds like they maybe are uh, the girl telling the secret is telling a juicy, um, some juicy gossip. Maybe she's um, saying a secret. Um, so the emotion is interest. And I know that because they're smiling, their eyebrows are up a little bit. She's looking at the corners of her mouth in terms of proximity. They're leaning towards each other. They're pretty close. Her mouth is close to her ear, like she's telling a secret. And wordless communication, I might be hearing um, like a gasp, like a <gasps> or something like that. Um, so she might be telling some kind of juicy secret, like, did you hear that um, Julie is dating Johnny? Something like that. Um, or did you hear that Johnny asked Julie to the prom? Um, something along those lines, something, um, a rumor that might be going around. Okay, the next picture is a girl that looks like she's shocked, possibly. There's a few different interpretations to this um, picture. Most pictures do have multiple interpretations. She could be shocked. Uh, meaning she just heard some shocking news that maybe a friend of hers got into a car accident. And so her hands are on her face, on her cheeks. Her mouth is open. Um, she doesn't necessarily look happy. And maybe the wordless vocalization is, oh, something like that. Um, she could also be calling someone, yelling. So she, her hands are on her uh, cheeks, um, kind of yelling like this. Hey, you! So she might be um, yelling out loud. Um, so she might be thinking, oh, no, I can't believe it. Or she might be thinking, hey, you, come here. So two different interpretations to that picture. Uh, this next picture, her hands are on her head, her eyes are closed, her eyebrows are coming together, her mouth is tight, she's hunched over, she looks like she's um, maybe frustrated, sad, in pain. Um, so one interpretation is that she has a headache. She's in pain. She's holding the sides of her head, kind of the temple area. The next interpretation might be she's trying to concentrate and think about something. Um, so she's closing her eyes and trying to picture in her mind maybe where she left her keys. Um, those are the two interpretations right now. Um, okay. One more picture, and then we'll be done with this video, and you can look for another video. Okay, so this girl looks like she's shocked. She's looking at her phone. Her mouth is open. Her eyebrows are to, um, coming together. Um, and her she doesn't look happy. She looks like she's in shock. Maybe she's reading a text from her friend and she's saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe that news. Or maybe 
her boyfriend just hung up on her and she's saying, I can't believe he just hung up on me. Um, she might be talking to someone on speakerphone and might be yelling, um, maybe at her mom saying, I'm not coming home when you want me to, um, something along those lines. So there's multiple interpretations to this picture here. Okay, that's it for now. Look for the next video. Thank you.